because uh, there's also an ongoing talk between BCDA and Facebook, which happens to be in San Francisco, Mendo Park, that will help us improve the, uh, the internet service of the Philippines, not just Clark. And it's being done through, through BCDA. <laughs> Ah, sige na ba yan? Hindi na na-publish na eh. No, just one. But why, are you talking to the Facebook as company or is this release in Facebook? I'm sorry. Edge Networks. Edge Networks. They will be providing a subterranean cable that will pass North America to from Asia going to North America and then passing through our property in San Fernando. Oh, okay. San Fernando La Union, all the way to Balel at the other side of the zone, and that will provide around 2 million MBPS of capacity. Oh, wow. That's, that would be good. Since I'm going to speak. Huh? That is the idea. Anyway, uh, good afternoon again. I'm Rodem. I represent the Clark Development Corporation. We are one of the five subsidiaries under BCDA. So CBC is here, one of the five subsidiaries, and then we also have Clark International Airport. So we have two subsidiaries presenting today. So uh, let me show you a recap of the territory. Uh, we have here a map of the whole Clark. We have two areas as shown here. We have a small area here, uh, which is called the Clark Freeport Zone. This used to be the Clark Air Force Base. And this is the fenced area. Uh, the fenced area or the Clark Freeport is subdivided into two areas called the aviation complex where we are right now is the civil aviation complex or the airport area and then the western part of the map shows you the mixed use area all right so the bigger chunk of land you see here on top is actually the clark special economic zone where the new clark city is located so there will be a road linking the new clark city up there going all the way uh, to the south or connecting it to the Clark Freeport Zone. So you have the Clark Special Economic Zone and the Clark Freeport Zone. So we are now at the Clark Freeport Zone. Okay, so... Uh, so yes, so the new Clark City is just a small... Part of small. the Special okay. Economic Zone. Oh, no. The Special Economic Zone is about 27,000 hectares. And since you asked about the size, I took notes here on in comparison to where it came from. Uh, the entire Clark is about half of uh, Toronto. Yes. Uh, it's about a third of Calgary. Yes. And uh, it's three times bigger than Vancouver. Oh, if you talk about the two zones. But uh, since there's no, no one from New York, but I also wrote here a note that it's six times bigger than Manhattan. Just to give you that idea. Ah, okay. And then Bajan. Okay. We are called by many names. Uh, and I won't be showing you the any videos. I'll save that for the bus tour, rolling tour later, so you'll appreciate much of the, the, uh, the beautiful uh, views and places that you can see when you travel back. So, uh, we are not just a report. We are not a typical industrial zone. We are a lifestyle freeport. We are a work, give, play, learn, economic zone or free trade zone. So that makes us a unique uh, a place of uh, tourism and place of investment. We are also called a, a travel uh, efficient uh, free trade zone because anywhere you go in Clark, you are guaranteed 15 minute travel time. From point A to point B, you are guaranteed 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes at least. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Freeport Zone, okay. not the Special Economic Zone. I'm okay. talking about the fenced area. 
So uh, we are also, uh, since we are one of the 400 economic zones in the Philippines, there are that many economic zones declared by special laws. But we're the biggest, and being a free trade zone, we enjoy autonomy in so far as governance. All the permits uh, that will be issued to the businesses here will be made by CDC by us. So you don't have to deal with the city mayor or the city government or the provincial government. So we are autonomous as far as managing the, the Freeport zone and in, in so far as issuing business permits and all other permits. So what we have done in the past and how we are moving forward, I, I, I'll be showing you some quick snapshots. So we have over the world. So uh, as mentioned earlier, we're, 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 we have reached 100, almost 1,000 uh, workers, 4% uh, of which are expats. Really? Yep. So uh, this represents the uh, product export that we generate last year. We generated last year. It's 27% higher than we did in 2016. Are these mostly agriculture? No. Uh, these are uh, products related uh, for consumer goods, products related uh, manufacturing. Service, uh, yeah, manufacturing. Uh, ma manufacturing. manufacturing. But this only represents product exports. We are also host to a lot of service exporters. We're talking about uh, call centers, software developers, BBOs, KBOs, servicing their other uh, multinational companies. Yeah, so uh, so if you add all the service exports, that's easily about 500 million US dollars on top of the 6.4 billion that we generated last year. Cool. Yeah, so... Uh, we actually have 23,000 workers employed in yeah. So, um, so I did mention we are a work, live, play, uh, and learn free port zone. Uh, so much so that we are positioning ourselves to be a major tourism destination in the Philippines. And um, I'm going to show you some of the uh, statistics and pictures that uh, uh, events that are being held here. Uh, one major event is happening right now, the Hot Air Balloon Festival. So we are hosting a lot of those sports tourism events uh, because uh, of the character of Clark. It's very conducive here. Uh, we have so many, a variety of races from bicycle, marathon. The triathletes who won the gold medal last year actually trained in Clark. Yeah, so it's one of the bragging rights we have here. The coach himself, when interviewed at CNN, mentioned the uh, the value of having a place where they can train, which actually uh, mirrors the kind of environment they actually did when they raced uh, outside of the Philippines. So this is the Hot Air Balloon Festival. Yes, uh, it's going to be concluded tonight. So we can see it. Oh, no, okay.